Welcome to another Mystical Perspective. My name is Reverend Cindy Palos, and I uh, will be exploring a wonderful topic today, your future co-creating with God. We all like looking at and wondering about what our future is going to be like. And there's ways to really create your future. So it's a perfect way to fulfill your destiny, and that's by co-creating it with God. Um, I'm basing the talk today on a book that was written by Dr. Paul Leon Masters, and it's called Spiritual Mind Power Affirmations. I've been studying for over 50 years, and um, I continue to uh, find ways to delve deeply into that mystical connection that we can find when we do connect with God. I start with the affirmations, and then we'll do a talk in meditation. Will is the first one. Throughout my body, mind, and soul, I choose to do the will of God's presence within me today, which creates what my future will be. So what could be more powerful than to align yourself with God's will? Give up your own personal ego identity and tune and tap into the greatest resource of all, the source of one light and love that is that presence of God that is residing there within you. This is such a powerful affirmation to say. I'd recommend saying it every single morning. Again, repeating it. Throughout my body, mind, and soul, I choose to do the will of God's presence within me today which creates what my future will be. So when we stop trying to force ourselves to do what our little will, our ego will wants to do, and let God's will be done, then it changes the entire direction of our life and our future. And how do we do that? Well, one of the great ways to do that is through meditation. So the next affirmation is on meditation, saying, Through my daily practice of meditation, I open the surface levels of my mind to the thought-feeling energy of God's presence to influence my future. So what are we doing here? When we go into meditation, We can always go through the levels of our mind and the monkey mind and the chatter. and We can go through memories, thoughts, and the clearings and the practice. We can call in the light and we can call in the presence. But when we really open those surface levels of the mind and that energy to God's presence, then we're able to let that amazing power, that true spirit of oneness and love come into our whole being and it's a supercharged meditation to say the least oh my gosh when you are able to unite with god in meditation that mystical union that samadhi it's truly heaven next is intuition through my daily practice of meditation god's will is intuitively made known to my conscious, thought-feeling nature to guide me in creating a better future. So intuition is talked about a lot, especially women's intuition, right? But in daily meditation, we can then, instead of searching for our intuition or even going to tarot cards or asking a crystal, uh, we go to God's will and we let God guide our intuition and we ask for God to be made known to our conscious thought-feeling nature. Can you feel the nature of God and can you tune in enough to allow that to guide you in so many ways, I'll tell a little story here that relates to what we're talking about in everyday life. You know, I, I 
I get so many of these junk phone calls. I started using an app called RoboKiller, which takes away a lot of the spam calls. So I now pretty much know if it's a junk call, and most of the junk calls have been eliminated. But the other day this week, on my iPhone came Apple support. You know, I've reached out to Apple, and I have it in my contact list. So I feel pretty safe that it's really Apple support. I didn't take the call the first two times. The third time, I thought, you know, maybe I better take this. Could There could be something wrong, right? And I get a man from India on the phone, and he asked me if I've been to another country recently. And I said, well, no, not recently. He says, well, there's been multiple attempts to try to get into your Apple computers and phone from locations outside the United States. And I went, oh, my gosh, And um, I said, that's really concerning. He says, they can steal your identity and they can get your passwords and they can even get into your PayPal accounts. And and so fear, you know, I was like, wow, okay. Um, At the time I said, well, you know, how do I know you're really you? You know, he says, well, look, it says Apple support. If you look at the number, that's Apple support number. And I was about to uh, really allow him. He said he had to, of course, get into the computer. And um, just that little intuition red flag I said well you know what I'm going to call you back and indeed when I called there's two numbers I have for Apple support I called the other number and it was someone who was able to spoof um, that telephone number of Apple support and have it come up on my phone as Apple support but thank God for a little bit of intuition on that because I really was about to allow this person to get into my computer and access all my information But intuition works in so many levels. I mean, so many. Maybe you just avoid an accident by slowing down, or I've had that happen so many times. So when your intuition is allowed to touch you um, and reach you and guide you, by God, it's amazing how it changes your life. But you have to allow it to be. You know, a lot of people don't realize they're shutting themselves off to that intuition, but they are. Ah, the next affirmation is needs. Oh, needs, 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 right? God's presence in me knows exactly what I most need to create for a better future and to intuitively guide me to create it. Now, there's so much we're sold, you know, as far as what we think we need, but there's a huge difference between what we're being sold to make us want something, what we truly need. Now, you know, we can get down to the root of it. I think at at our hearts, everyone knows what you really need is love, right? And a lot of the other things we get are just trying to achieve that connection to get love or be recognized. But our true need is for that presence of God's love. That God presence in me knows exactly what I need to create a better future, and intuitively guides me to create it. So when we look at that need, that true need, and allow it to root deep within all of ourselves, even into the shadows, and we all have shadows, um, it really does indeed get us on the track to get what we really need. The next one is God channeling. God's will my needs, and God's needs for creating me are one and the same. And therefore, my outer mortal manifestation is a channel for God's presence. Now, we're not talking about the channel of, you know, there's so many people who say they're channeling all these beings, right? Why not channel God, why not let God be your life coach? Why not let God be the one that is creating your future? God knows your needs. God knows what you are going to be doing and what you need to do to have a successful life and to fulfill your true destiny. So by turning yourself over completely, to God's channeling, you then are able to be directed. Now, I've been meditating every day of my life since I've been 13 years old. 
And after I meditate, I what used to be a pen and paper. Now I put it on my iPhone in notes. Um, but what you write down, what I write down after meditation has given me guidance for all these many, 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 many years. Of course, I've written six books now based on what I've gotten. But I wrote a poem the other day, and I think some people may think it's presumptuous, but it was about being God's scribe. Why can't we be God's scribe? Why can't we write down messages from God? We can. Of course, (laughs) Neil Donald Walsh did conversations with God. And he got a lot of flack, especially from religious groups about that, right? I I don't know if you remember when it first came out, but he did stick with it, you know. Um, A lot of people said he was sacrilegious to say he had a conversation with God. But you can. And that's really what a real prayer is, is having a conversation with God. And meditation is listening. And you can write down what you get from listening to that presence, and it can come through you. In fact, I really recommend writing down, journaling what you get after you meditate, opening up that level that you get to in your higher state of mind, tuned into that presence, and bringing it back to your physical state of mind and your rest through even your subconscious so that you don't have too many filters and you can directly channel that wisdom, that love, that teaching that comes from God. The next one is uh, God um, on co-creating. As God's presence within me is in charge of my mortal manifestation, my mortal manifestation co-creates my future with God wisdom, healing, love, and blessings. So this is that power of saying yes to co-creating, letting God be your partner in life. You don't even need a lawyer to write up the papers on that one, right? As God's presence within me is in charge of my mortal manifestation, my mortal manifestation co-creates my future with God's wisdom, healing, love, and blessings. So the power of being able to co-create, co-create with God, it's really the thing that can create your future, the best of what you can have for your future. It brings you unlimited blessings. Yes, you are blessed so much more than you know. Yes, you are loved and you are lovable. Yes, you have been healed and can be healed. Yes, you can be taught. Yes, words of wisdom can come through. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, really, think about it. I mean, why not have the best life coach in the world there to help you every day? I mean, God knows you inside and out with all the good and bad parts. He's been there in spirit with you for lifetimes, not just this lifetime, many lifetimes, and only wants the best for you. He doesn't ask you to pay him. (laughs) There's no charge. (laughs) I mean, maybe, you know, some ads are being done by me for God here, but um, that's okay. But God can be your life coach. He's always, always, he, she has always had your back. But you have to be open to call upon that presence. That presence is always there. But it's amazing how we find ourselves distracted and we delay that presence for many, many, many reasons. Sometimes we don't think we're good enough. Sometimes we want to have our ego self fulfilled, you know. Um, But God is our direct connection to our highest purpose. I mean, why would you even want secondhand direction and information from someone else out there to be your coach, your spiritual coach, when you can have the direct source of all of that. I mean, we don't believe that we can, but really there is that kind of love, and we all seek it, and we all need it. We are created with an eternal promise in the depths of our heart that there is this 
perfect love that understands us unconditionally, that loves us unconditionally. And that is the path of love that God has created for us. For us. God's path really gets you in tune and in touch with your true self and that God within. That God within is always there to direct and guide you. And you can commune with that self, that God's presence. You can receive and send that energy. You can send blessings from that energy to everyone. God works with love and the sacred tools of love. And it's a mystical path that isn't just about going to church on Sunday. It's about connecting daily with the source of all life. It's about being open to receive, to receive, and to send forth that love and blessings. There's this amazing relationship you get with God when you follow this path. And really, all you really have to do is say, yes. Yes. And once you say yes, it's amazing what happens. Once you make that inner commitment, that lifetime commitment to unite with God, to follow God, to practice that love and that kindness in your life that is God's teachings, to learn to forgive as God through his Son, Jesus Christ and Christ consciousness taught, the power of loving your neighbor, the power of forgiving. Think about the power of these simple teachings. It's not easy. It's a lifetime journey. I've been doing it for a lifetime, and even just trying to practice harmlessness has been an amazingly challenging thing to do because it's being harmless in what we say and in what we think and in what we do. But, you know, we all fall and we get up and we fall and we get up and we walk with that teaching and we learn every day and we get stronger And some of the lessons are difficult, but those are the difficult ones that make a difference in our lives. The gift of love has really come through that presence to unite us all as one. It is our true future. It's our true inheritance. It's what our souls and our heart longs for. It makes us whole. It makes us complete. It gives us our real reason for being. And when you're tired of all the other things knocking your head against that wall, (laughs) banging your head against that wall, and when you're really ready to be made whole and meet the truth of who you really are, you will stop and listen to that inner voice that's calling you home. You'll find that inner urging that takes you to that mystical union with God and that living light that's present in you here. And all you have to do is say yes. I wrote this poem I want to share with you about this. If I were to speak to you, I would have the voice of your heart to light the words and the company of a band of angels to carry the sound of light. For their radiance can bring you the awakening of joy to let the heart hear those words of truth. In truth, there is no sorrow or darkness. In love, there is only God's unconditional love. There is only great beauty in the fulfillment of the union of ultimate love with the joining of the source of all energy with creation here on earth. Oh, to hold the light of the one who knows the power that can transform you. 
only the heart of love can carry that torch that can be so bright. Only the heart that is at peace with God can find that light within. For the self is born of such light and such love, greater far than the mind can comprehend. And when the soul is ready to connect with the mind of God and the love of God and experience enlightenment, then understanding can open the door and allow the directions of the heart to hear and believe. As I would know you as I am with you always in the I am that I am, loving you as your creator, as I am the source of love and the light of all lights, I would have you know me, understand my way, and love me with the joy of purpose, as a messenger of hope with the love that can unite the world. There is such a path, and there are those who would choose to walk this path and journey with the angels of the Lord. For you walk not alone, and you are always in the company of the silent ones who would guard the way of your journey. Even when you feel alone and lost, without the remembrance of your heritage, fear not, for I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Now, let's do a little meditation. Sit with your back erect. Take a deep breath of that true love. Let it fill your whole being. Breathe out. Release any tensions. Breathe in that light. Breathe out. Sigh. Let anything go that is not of pure light and love. Breathe in again and ask to be connected to the spirit of God's presence. Choose to be open to commune with God. Open your mind to the compassionate love that is God alive in your heart of hearts. That resource God has given you for this life is here in meditation. Journey to that opening in silence. For here in the center of the circle of light is the holy breath of the one spirit of love. It is the source and the resource that is infinite, giving to you endlessly. It is the essence of all creation. This love that you are, I am. Embrace it. Embody it. Cherish it. Behold, you are that infinite love and you have the power to believe this love is possible to share in your life. Now put your hand on your heart. Go deep to that fire of love within, that spark that is eternal, that soul that is infinite, that has carried you for lifetime after lifetime. Open your heart and receive the love that is alive and the presence there within. Allow the blessing of this love to fill your entire being, your entire body. Feel it within every cell. Be the spirit of divine love from the source that is the essence of all creation. 
Invite that presence to find a home in your heart and to be with you right here and now. Feel that love, that soul's light in your heart growing and awakening. Feel the light of love. Identify with the love and merge with it. Receive that love of who you truly are. Know that you are a blessed child of God. Breathe this gift of love in and let it enter your body, your mind, and your soul. Now for a moment, be open to receive any message you might wish from the source, your life coach, your teacher, that God within. And allow yourself to learn to call in that gift of communing with God. Write down anything that comes to you from this communication. And what you get inside, you can share in your outer work in life. You can become a soul-infused being. You can be the one that transmits that light that is a beacon in the darkness. You can become part of that light, that sun, that brings light to the earth. Receive this light as a conscious choice daily. Share this light with patience, with love, and with kindness and understanding. Now slowly come out of meditation. Feel that transformation within yourself. I'm going to close today with the Aramaic version of the Lord's Prayer. Father, Mother of the cosmos, shimmering light of all, focus your light within us as we breathe your holy breath. Enter the sanctuary of our hearts, uniting within us the sacred rays of your power and beauty. Let your heart's desire unite heaven and earth through our sacred union. Help us fulfill what lies within the circle of our lives today. Forgive our secret fears as we freely choose to forgive the secret fears of others. Let us not enter into forgetfulness, tempted by false appearances. For from your astonishing fire comes the eternal song, which sanctifies all, renewed eternally in our lives and throughout creation. We seal these words in our heart, committed in trust and faith. Ah, Amama, Amama, Uanoa, the prayer is freed. Thank you for joining me today. This talk was based on the book Spiritual Mind Power Affirmations. I uh, post all these for free at Mystical Perspectives, and I thank you for really learning how God can be your teacher, your life coach, your direct way of connecting with love and light. God bless you always.